Keep talking behind my back. Because that's the perfect position to kiss my ass. In the Twitterverse, tweets abound. Facebook's a land where friends are found. YouTube comments, may they never cease. MySpace is dead, so let it rest in peace. The best of the week, here's where they be. Chosen by yours truly, the name's JB. Shoutouts, props, questions for you. All wind up in the new media stew. Okay, gang, it is... Cards tell me, New Media Stew Live. Yeah, and uh, I am joined by lovely and talented Miss Chrissy Oaks, who's been tweeting up a storm for this show. Ain't that the truth? And I got some retweets going, so I hope you get some new viewers. I love it. We are looking, actually, let's see if we have some new viewers. We're going to be talking uh, how to deal with haters, bullies, trolls, all that good stuff coming up. But let's check over here right now. Uh, oh, yeah, we have, um, oh, do I have to refresh? hate when I have to do this. And by the way, guys, just to let you know, uh, we have new production assistant Dave, and then of course Dave, say hey. Hey. Like voice <laughs> of God, who's going to be participating in the chat. And then we also have, as usual, our technical director, Mr. Chris. Voice of God, say hello. Hello. <laughs> that sounded like God. <laughs> They say, I don't know why I have these papers on me. Um, they say he sounds like, uh, wh wh what did they say last time? The voice of a Cheech and Chong, like I'm <laughs> coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> I just love it. All right, here we go. And we got it going on. Okay. And look at this. In the house, we have Emily Al 101, one of the best Stu Crew members. We have Blargled the Alien saying, hi, Chrissy. Hello. George Bettinger. George Bettinger, I've not seen you before in this show, man. So that means you get the patented, you just got chunked. Chunked. I see on the screen, they get that on the screen popping up. Yeah, on a delay. <laughs> All right, William Wade, William Wade Jr. is in the house. Stu Crew Power. We have Gregory Hissick. Let's stew this. Wow. Oh, that was cool. Gregory Hissick, you're also the first time viewer here, so we're going to have a lot of this. You just got chunked. Chunked. Boop. All right. Uh, who else we got? Moving down. Oh, we got Dave's just bored. Show will be starting any moment. Marla TX, one of the best Stu Crew members. Now, Marla TX, just to give you some background, is also a dude broette from the Cavino and Rich show. Okay. So we love her. Okay. Love you, Marla. Uh, Mind of Science, Peter Girl 90 in the house. Ooh, a whole whopping 22 already watching. Many more after. Uh, then we have, uh, who else? Uh, Emily Al, Blargle, Mind of Science, Dave's Just Bored, good do, 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 do. Okay, cool. And now we have 12 new comments, and I've got to click Update automatically, and they're all going to come in. Michael Warbucks really? in the house. Thank you, Michael, for joining the show. One of the best Stu Crew members right there. I just had to stop in before I head out last night. I hope you have a great show. That sentence he stopped off saying because he wanted to say, I just wanted to stop in before I head out for the night, because if I didn't, John would beat my fucking ass. <laughs> As I, as I tweeted him, he tweets me and Dave, okay, Dave the production assistant, he tweets, he goes, oh, I'm so excited for the show, but I'm not going to be able to make it because I think I have to go out tonight. And I go, I wrote back in a tweet, that would be very Poe judgment. But that's loyal. That's, that's exactly. Loyal. That is loyal. That's awesome. We have Thunder God, Thunder God 1845, you just got chunked. Chunked. We're gonna. <laughs> That's on the that, way to question mark. That, that, <laughs> chunked. There you go. That's better. <laughs> and, and, and look, look at it on. We're working on under the way. So just to, see, they get. They, it actually comes up on screen, <laughs> which is hysterical. But anyway, Dan, Daniel Williams. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, coming from um, my Facebook, one of the, another new viewer, Wait, Raven Wolfgang. A uh, lot of good people. All right. Well, we're gonna go back to the chat in a second. And by the way, Daniel, one quick thing. You just got chunked. Chunked. A lot of new viewers today. <laughs> All right. We're going to be talking about how to deal with haters, bullies, and trolls, so I want you to write in now, start writing in if you've had any experiences with getting negative comments, maybe being stalked on Twitter, uh, if you're in school, like a lot of our viewers who are 13 to 17 years old, if you're having problems there, because we're going to talk about that. In the meantime, I have to say that we are going to be choosing Stu Crew Star of the Week this week, and Chrissy, believe it or not, has never seen the swag bag on... Uh, the show. So I'm, I'm I sure. have it, and I secretly want one. Isn't it amazing? I would totally wear that. This is a uh, pimp ass bag. Once again, I designed it, but it is created by someone awesome who is a someone awesome Stu Crew member who we love. But that is swag bag, and in it, there's all sorts of prizes. But for now, we're going to be taking out one prize, actually two, because you get to get two prizes today. Look at this. You are going to be getting a. Get Chunk shirt, 
That's awesome. From New Media Stew. This is one I wear to the gym with no sleeves. Yeah, I was going to say, it's it is cut not, off. It, no, no. <laughs> yours will probably uh, have sleeves. But you should probably cut them off like that. Yeah, you... you <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Good Fashionista. idea. Fashionista. Fashionista. Um, but so how you win is basically by participating in the show and also trying to further the interest of the show so we continue to grow in viewers like we're just doing right now. Um, one person who's won before and is going to be hard to beat today is going to be Biggie D Line. I already saw him tweeting up a storm. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Biggie, we might want to target those tweets in the future to TV shows and not random people. But you never know who's gonna, you know, all of a sudden, you know, pick up the show now and start doing other things. Now you're requesting a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm requesting a lot, right? And you gotta. But put, they're loyal, so they, they'll do it. They're very loyal. They're very loyal. You gotta put hashtag NMS Live. So Chris will put up the graphic uh, hashtag NMS Live when you guys get a chance. Um, and uh, you know, surprise and astound. Participate in the show both here and also on Twitter chat. And with Twitter, try to include at John Bastow also when you're doing the NMS Live. It just makes it easier for Dave to track because Dave is the palm you have to grease. He's the one who's choosing Stu Crew Star of the Week. Mm -hmm. And also, in, in case it's a lady too, we have a hat with a kiss on it. Oh my God. That was supplied by somebody Can earlier. I try it on? Yeah, you want to turn it on? I'll model it for you. Sexy. All. Holla. How, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta oh, hold the bag. Excuse me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna live that one down. I have a feeling my mom's gonna start making <laughs> fun of me later. <laughs> hopefully, Mike Durbin is watching and not commenting yet because Mike Durbin will have taken a screenshot of that. We're just putting these on the ground so that way you can get the stuff right off the ground. Um, Mike Durbin does Photoshop of still shots of our show. Okay. So you have me and like uh, when Nicole, uh, who's a uh, New York Islanders ice girl, mm -hmm. co hosted. Um, all of a sudden, he had, he had she and I, she and I were on the ice doing some sort of crazy like double axle move. There you go. And, well, and he sends them in. You should totally do that for me because I'll throw it on my website. She, by the way, will pimp you out. Okay, so she <laughs> will come correct as far as that goes. <laughs> and, and also, yeah, Dave just board wrote in NMS Live, which is good. Uh, Mind of Science has awesome shirt. By the way, John, Eric is watching but is not able to chat because he's on his iPhone. Eric, you can still, uh, Eric is Biggie D-Line, by the way, you can okay. still participate in the competition because I know you like to win everything um, on the Twitter chat. So don't worry about not being able to win that way. Uh, just, poof, I'd kick both your asses. See y'all. Uh. <laughs> you as well. All right. Anyway, um, back to haters, bullies, and trolls. Um, I did a video which you guys can check out when you get a chance on the YouTube channel, How to Deal with Bullies, Haters, and Trolls. Which was really good, I have to say. You liked it? I what did. What was your favorite line from it? Was it the line we did in the tease? It was. I think that was funny, but the one that I used, one of the women used how um, you're just kind of making yourself more relevant, making the yeah. person more relevant, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure which woman used that. One of them said, I forgot which lady said it, but she, she goes, oh, keep talking about me because you're just making me more famous. Right, and that's something I like to use. And I like so. the relevant, too, because... You guys know the Stu Crew who watches my regular show on um, on YouTube mm -hmm. knows we've had Nene Leaks on before, mm -hmm. and Nene Leaks uh, comes on and she said one day she goes, "Keep talking about me because you're just making me more relevant," and I love her so there you go. That, that was really cool. So, um, but that one's good, and then also the, you know pretty much um, you know I everybody seems to like the beginning when we go hi haters, hi haters, hi mm -hmm. haters. So the thing is like if you're having haters, if you're having anybody saying something nasty. I always say take them out of the equation. Do what's best for you. If somebody comes at you with negativity, you don't necessarily have to treat them with love. You don't necessarily have to treat them with hate. Treat them how you will feel best treating them. So if it's best to ignore them, if you don't want to even let it into your being, ignore them. Yeah. If it's best to confront them and watch them collapse like a house of cards, which is what they often do, confront them. But take them out of the equation and do what's best for you, but also know that anything they're saying is coming from their own fierce frustrations and failures, all those mean-spirited words, and usually has nothing to do with you. So mm -hmm. don't take it to heart, and don't be like one of these people that gets so caught up in it, feels there's no escape, and then you know jumps off a bridge or you know ends up committing suicide because they're facing bullying, facing haters. They're, these are small-minded, horrible little people. Don't ever let them steal your joy. You're right. You're right. My mama always told me to kill what? them with kindness. I have a big mouth, so I never really listen, so I like to call them out, but you can't let them stop you from living your life. Complete, don't let anybody ever steal your joy. And, uh, and sometimes, you know, when somebody comes at you all negative, what's better than looking in the eye and say, oh, don't worry about it. Someday you'll have a friend. <laughs> it's obvious no one loved you as a child. 
What's it like to peak at 12? It's all downhill from here. Oh, what about that one? Um, the competition, the crazy. You just won oh, first place <laughs> yeah. in the crazy competition. Oh, I, I, actually, we have some, we have some of them here in case we forgot. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it, what one was one was. You just won first prize in the competition for crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's that a good was funny. One. By the way, that's uh, that was Francesca Ramsey who said that. So shout out to you, Cheska Lay. Uh, I'm yeah. digging this one for the men. Well, yeah, it sucks to have a small penis. Because <laughs> your ego just went from this big to about this big. <laughs> that is an emasculating, nasty one. Sorry, Mom. That, that is, that is. Uh, and of course, don't worry, some, don't, don't worry, someday someone will love you. But the thing is, once again, we're not about confrontation. This is not things you have to say or anybody advises you to say to haters, bullies, and trolls. What I always say to do is think these things in your head because that takes the power out of their words. If somebody comes up and says, oh, you're ugly, you're fat, you're stupid, you're lazy, whatever, or if they're calling you something nasty on the internet, all of a sudden, if you have the line in your head, boy, keep talking behind my back, because <laughs> that's the perfect position to kiss my ass, immediately, without even saying it to them, that takes the power out of their words, and it always makes me feel better and makes them feel less important to me. I could imagine I've never used it, but if I were to, I would have a little chuckle in my mind going, and it would just lighten the spirit if someone was bringing that negativity on. And Completely. You could walk away easy. Completely, and I just wanted to check, uh, make sure we have our Twitter on over here. So keep playing uh, for the Stu Crew Star of the Week, by the way, on the Twitter, which is uh, you know all sorts of special. I can't even find my Twitter. I got a new BlackBerry, I, which, by the way, she started making fun of me for too. It's a crackberry. It's a crack. Who has Blackberry anymore? I was going to see if maybe comments. Do they? Do, <laughs> I'm, I'm checking. Well, we just saw a lot of comments. Oh, Timothy Schweitzer is on. He goes, Timothy Schweitzer says, you guys got to see the new movie John is in. It looks awesome. Awesome. Timothy is actually a co-star with me um, in a couple of movies, Tim. If I'm not mistaken, Assidia, The Library, and um, Assidia, The Library, and Purification. So, and that's, uh, yeah, so we have all sorts of people watching. I just watching. saw a comment, um, SHS in the building, that's my high school. I don't know who you are because of the SHS. Usually, but Suffering High School, let's do it. That's a super <laughs> slow clap. We have Suffering Clap, actually. What is a Suffering it's Clap? Ready? <laughs> I have no rhythm. No. I have the rhythm of a white man. <laughs> yeah. Do it again, do it again, do it again. One, one, two. One, 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 two. One, one, two. One, 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 two. Yes! That was Suffer awesome! Suffer clap, baby! I on, on the fly! <laughs> you will never see me do that again. That's like that girl who won the gold medal in the ice skating one time and you never saw her compete again because once you reach that level of perfection... I have no you idea just <laughs> you're no, no, there, there's a, there's a, uh, What's her... Um, Hughes, Sarah Hughes. Remember, there was a year... Uh, this goes back to the 90s, I think. Um, there was, and I, I had seen it on the Olympics, um, and she was in the Olympics. She won over Nancy Kerrigan. She won over um, uh, Michelle Kwan. I know and, and Michelle other Kwan. Right, Michelle Kwan. You know, she won over these people who were all expected to beat her. You don't know her because if you missed that one competition, you wouldn't know her name. And I was born the last month of the 80s, so I was probably young if it was in the 90s. Well, it was in the it was be nine, 90s. No, it was like, 90, I was like 90, 98, 97, 98, around there. I don't know. But I don't know if you were watching Hashtag the Olympics at that time. Moment. I don't know if you were watching the Olympics <laughs> at that time. But anyway, she wins the gold medal and just doesn't compete anymore, which is a beautiful thing. You know, when you reach that level of perfection, you can only go down after that. It's like Brett Michaels going back on Celebrity Apprentice. Would mm -hmm. you ever go back as a competitor on Celebrity Apprentice? No, I, I want to try to end on a good note. Yeah. Uh, she's birds of a feather. <laughs> Suffering high school. Flock together. <laughs> there you go. Greg, uh, thank, Greg Hissick says, thanks for chunking, John Basto. Everything is different now that I am chunked. Love you, Greg there Hissick. You um, and then, wait, hold on, we had a whole bunch of these things. Suffolk High School in the house we already got. Uh, Marla TX, she says she kills them with kindness. That's how she deals with haters. Agreed. Uh, Michael, uh, Michael Butel, thanks to Raven for bringing me here tonight. Would that be Raven Plume? Michael Butel, by the way, you just got chunked. Chunked. Bunch of new viewers. Raven <laughs> Plume, hopefully you're in the house, Raven, because I love you. That's Miss Cassandra Hennessy, who's a okay. loyal viewer of ours. Okay. Um, uh, Lizette's hubby. Oh, oh, Lizette, cool. Glad, Lizette, thank you. Glad you're in the house, too. Uh, and then, all right, Dave, do you see any other new comments? Uh, no, you got all. Good. And then, okay, so we're up to Exotic Fire Girl with Hey JB. Soldier is present. Hello, Soldier. I like her name, Exotic Fire Girl. She goes by EFG sometimes, too. Pretty EFG. Cool. Um, also, guys, so let us know if you, as I said, if you have any experiences you want to talk about with haters, bullies, and trolls, 
Also, we want to get in before we get interrupted, like we always, always, always do, um, a new segment that I wanted to do, and this is called Cyber Commons. So Chris will probably be, that's of course technical director, engineer Chris, will probably be trying to find the Cyber Commons graphic right now as I stall and let him find it. But in the meantime, this is when we highlight a comment that may have come in during the week, and we may also pick a Twitter comment if Dave sees one that's really good, and we highlight them during the show. We give you a shout out. But there is something, this comment beats all comments. <coughs> Somebody I've never met, but this is from a loyal Stu Crew member, T. Reed. And uh, we have this comment, by the way, uh, Chris, so you can actually put up his comment on the screen so that they can read along with me to make sure that I'm not making this up because it has to be heard to be believed. Uh, it's under the T. Reed uh, cyber common thing. Um, all right, he goes, T. Reed 100, 182. Yo, based out 2000, taking those beautiful abs into the new millennium. Haha. -ha. What up, motherfucker? Because that's my middle name. It's John Mofo based out. They, they just, it, it's, it's a given name. You know, when it's on your birth certificate, you can't really avoid it. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we go on. It says, about 13 years ago, which is exactly when Fitness Made Simple started, when I was just finishing school, based at, oh, about 13 years ago, based out looks even better now. Thank you, T. Reed. No matter what you say after that, I'm going to like you. Uh, I made a John Based Out t-shirt in my high school graphics class, the first graphics class in any New Jersey high school, of John flexing his abdomen. I then hung said t-shirt in what I called the shed a place where teenagers from the area would come and smoke weed. So we didn't have to sit in the rain to get high. <laughs> Based out was the guardian. Your God. My people. Oh, hell. <laughs> My people. So <laughs> real comments, real people, you can't make this shit up. Flattered or creeped out? Oh, uh, well, well for, 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 first of all, started Fitness Made Simple right out of school, so 13 years later to look better than ever, because I, uh, once again, I age in Benjamin Button years, so that, that's good. So automatically, <laughs> once again, when you get to that part, all the words fade to oblivion. <laughs> so flattered is, it's, to answer her question, definitely flattered, and I don't know, man. I mean, for a guy who's never drank or never done any drug, to be the guardian of the weed shed is hysterical. I'm wondering, is this like your, I need to say this to keep my image up? No, actually, I, that, that ruins my image because, you know, I do other bad things. I, I, do, other, I, I, I do other bad things. Like what? <laughs> Spare us. <laughs> I, I, do, I do other bad things. But, yeah, the weirdest thing is the, the only thing, I've never had a full drink, which is something I had to mention on a, a, a show one time on a radio show. I've had a sip of something on the airplane, cause, and since I don't know my tolerance and I'm always driving, I've never, I would never risk it. I mean, you know, some, but and I, but I had it when, I, when there's been a car service taking me. I've taken a sip of something on the airplane. That's about it. It makes sense why you have the abs uh, you have. Uh, who the, who the hell is calling during the show? This is so rude. Should Hold on. on. Vibrate. You're probably right. It should be. Hold on. We're in the middle of a show. Who's calling? Uh, this is Brian from Steak Bike TV. How are you? <laughs> Lo and behold, surprise caller. Who would have thunk it on New Media Stew? It is Brian Barchek, try to spell that name, you won't be able to, <laughs> uh, from Snake Bites TV, who is actually a dear friend but interrupting the show. Notice a the theme in the past few shows? Uh, Brian, we are, we, we are talking, you're here with me and uh, Miss Chrissy Oaks, my co-host. Hello. Hey, Chrissy, how are you? Fine, thank you. Yourself? Good, I'm doing great. And I'm going to turn up your volume. Um, we have these crazy surprise guests because we're so in demand, I guess. And we have a, we have a whole bunch of people. Everybody saying hello. And by the way, Z Girl 2, don't worry, the squeezel is coming. All right. I just got interrupted by a surprise caller, so I got to take care of this right now. We have a segment, Brian, which you would really appreciate, um, called Stew Crew Pets. Um, and Stew Crew Pets is where uh, the Stew Crew basically sends in pictures of their pets, uh, and that's what they're all excited about. But this is perfect that Brian's calling because he is uh, basically the founder, not only a great guy, but the founder of Snake Bites TV, which is on YouTube. I have been to uh, reptile conventions with him, and we did a great video on his channel. The one on my channel is still being edited because I haven't had a chance to edit it, and I'm still working on getting that assistant editor. Um, but go check it out. Some pictures are coming up right now. I already saw out of the corner of my eye, Chris has a picture of me with a giant blood python around oh my, my neck. God. Chrissy, Chrissy, is, <laughs> Chrissy is turning her head. I, I like snakes and reptiles very much. but um, I'm scared of them. Really scared. <laughs> but And we were at a reptile expo, um, and uh, Brian is basically a god. 
he is a god to all the people in the reptile world and beyond because his channel is that popular. So go definitely subscribe to youtube.com slash snakebitestv. What are you up to now, man? Oh, not much, and thank you for all the kind words. And, uh, Chrissy, we'll get you loving reptiles in no time. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to squirm in my seat now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, trust me. I work with so many people that are really, really afraid of animals, and, and we get around them, and once you break that fear, as a matter of fact, some of my dearest friends and best customers that buy tons of, of animals for me and, and what we do uh, were terrified of snakes in the beginning, and they got over that fear, and then they became really attractive. As a matter of fact, I'm terrified of spiders. And uh, I'm really working on, I've got a couple spiders now, and I'm working on getting over that fear. So I understand where you're coming from, Chrissy, but trust me, when you get past that, they're just amazing, beautiful animals. But again, I'm not just a reptile guy. I love all animals. But he does. I'm certainly reptiles. And as far as what I'm up to, I just, uh, you know, your, your viewers and, and listeners mm -hmm. can all know that uh, we have we have about 30,000 snakes in our building. So I spent the day uh, there you go. You know, working on all those animals. And so I have plenty of pets for this dude. Isn't it egg laying season also? Aren't you, don't you have a bunch of eggs going on now? Yeah, it is. It's really an exciting time of year for being a snake breeder because uh, it's egg season and very shortly it'll be hatch season in about two months. And, and uh, we will literally hatch uh, at the peak of the season, which usually is around June. Oh. We'll hatch about, we'll hatch about 2,000 baby snakes a day. Wow. Um, and it's pretty exciting because we work with all kinds. We call them paint jobs, which are just really cool, colorful snakes. Amazing. I saw these, by the way. Yeah, yeah we take a little dash of real They're the designer. And a little dash of yellow, and we breed them together. And mm -hmm. we try to produce these incredible paint jobs that are just really beautiful and majestic. And They're shocking, Brian. I mean, when I saw them, I mean, you, you have every color under the palette. He does, like, designer breeding of snakes. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome, and they're, they're just fun. I mean, I love it. So, yeah, it's been it's exciting, and it's busy. And, of course, I was out in New York yesterday at, the, mm -hmm. at an expo out there and got back at about 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. So it's, uh, it's always go, go, go for me. Well, when, when you come out to New York again, instead of being an interrupting surprise caller and exercising the rudeness like you did today, we're going to have you in the studio, and you're going to bring some of your friends. Absolutely. I would love to show your viewers all the cool animals that we work with and really I think that they would have an appreciation for how beautiful some of these animals could be. Oh, I think, I, I, and, and they really are. And also, now, when are we going to, are we going to be able to see you on TV anytime soon? Because I think you are one of the most talented and also most charismatic, he's also one of my best friends, <laughs> um, you know, person that deals with animals of all kinds. So I think you should definitely have a show coming up. Anybody listening out there? Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, John. And, you know, we're working on, you know, fortunately, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom is putting on a host contest right now, as a matter of fact. Wow. And, uh, we're working on getting that hosting gig. Uh, again, we'll eventually, hopefully, make it into the top ten finalists, which will be announced in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we are, we're going to ask everybody to hopefully vote for us. Vote for him. As that host. And, and uh, if that happens, uh, the uh, May 11th starts the voting, and it goes for about ten days. And I make it into the top three, then they fly me out to the, the final auditions, and, and hopefully, God willing, I can really share awesome. my passion and enthusiasm for animals, and, and hopefully uh, you guys will see me uh, you know, turning around on the, the boob tube sometime, but I will always still be a YouTuber at heart. Well, let's do this. Well, I, that's what I want to do. I like to have the TV component and also keep the, some roots in YouTube, too, because I love being able to converse with the Stu Crew like we're doing today. Mm -hmm. But let's do this. Remind me again when it's coming up, when you're up for that, and we'll have the Stu Crew support behind you. All you guys out there in uh, New Media Stu Land are going to help my friend uh, Brian so we can see him on Mutual of Omaha's show, and I'm sure I'll have a guest spot. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the help. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, you got it, buddy. Um, as, I, as I say, we help each other out. So I will talk to you later. And the next time you're in town, you're definitely going to come on the show. Absolutely. I'm bringing a snake for Chrissy. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take just, you up on that, and I'm going to learn to like them. If you just, could change me. She, you should have seen. This, if, you could see, if you could see through the phone, she just jumped out of her seat. If, if you Listen, if you could change me, then you may be snake god, and you could change anyone. I can <laughs> Challenge right, accepted. Like Catch you later, Brian. Bye-bye. <laughs> right, Brian, you, you get all sorts of, all, all the fun people calling to the show. Anyway, and Stu Crew, everybody's waiting for Stu Crew Pets, but we just, uh, now we got a bunch of comments, so let's just say hello to some people over here, because I saw a bunch of people chiming in. And, by the way, I was corrected, Sarah Hughes was 2003. 
So, yeah, that's why. Uh, that was Blargle. Yes, Sarah Hughes retired in 2003 after okay. the Olympics. So she was, I guess, um, a few years before the Olympics. Okay. Before that, I guess, was what it was. So I guess... I have to go uh, research this re look at, look at, I'm uh, off my Olympic I, I, you know, See, the thing is, the thing is, I'm not even into the Olympics. I was, like, you know, in, in school doing stuff. Um, that was when Fitness Made Simple was just starting. And the thing is... Um, she amazed the hell out of me because I didn't know her name and I saw her winning a gold medal. Mm -hmm. And what really impressed me was then all of a sudden I didn't see her in the world championships afterwards. I didn't see her being the dancing turnip in the ice capades. And I'm like, what a smart freaking girl. She wasn't expected to win. All the attention was on Nancy Kerrigan, Michelle Kwan or whoever. And Michelle Kwan is, all I remember is the woman who has all these medals but never won mm -hmm. an Olympic medal. Um, and all the attention was on these other top players and in, in, uh, top skaters in other countries and this little Sarah Hughes just snuck in there, snuck the medal out, gold, went home and said, ooh, I'm done. Love it. <laughs> she robbed him and ran. Shit. That's what, that's what I said. When I win an award, I won the pop culture award. I got that pop culture. I got to bring it in. We'll put it as part of the set. I won that pop culture award. They wanted me to say a speech. I was just trying to get off the stage and go home. <laughs> they want you to take pictures with it afterwards and everything. And I'm like, oh, I, I got to go. I got to go in case they realize they made a mistake. <laughs> in case they make a mistake. <laughs> in case they make a mistake. In case they realize they made a mistake. I want to be home. And that way, if they call, you just never answer the phone. You just never, I, you just never pick up the phone. I actually did that again. just the other day, hosting a pageant. I called the wrong girl out for an award. I was like, "Just kidding!" And she <laughs> probably didn't think it was funny. <laughs> no, I don't think she did. Oops. Oh god. <laughs> Hashtag blonde moment. <laughs> that is hyster that is hysterical. Uh, okay, we have a whole bunch of people with uh, the snakes. Uh, I okay, I night air. Another new viewer. You just got chunked. Chunked. Michael Mann uh, says, uh, I, "I if you don't know John, it's Chris. Oh, Chris Airwolf. Chris Airwolf, another one of the Facebook friends and new media stew viewers. Love it. Check Twitter. Posted a great pet picture. We will get to that. I can't see your name yet. Minute nine clothing line. Thank you for stopping by. I saw you pop by and I missed you. Eric D line in the house." He actually got to a place where he can communicate. Remember, that was Eric Deline who they said he couldn't oh! communicate. He figured it out. He's like the most loyal fan ever. Can you come be a fan of me? She loves <laughs> you. She freaking loves you. Yeah. Heart for you. Uh, yeah. I lost my card. <laughs> Designer snakes. <laughs> one moment. <laughs> one, mo one moment. One <laughs> moment. She has a little step stool there too. There's all sorts of things. You don't ever want to see this carpeting. There's, there's, this carpeting. If this carpeting could talk, it would be an X-rated story. There may be something living in it. I'm uh, not he, sure. Here you go, Blargle. Uh, the, uh, the alien says, "John based a weed shed guardian. You, you've been toped. <laughs> you've been ha ha." Okay, Z girl two says the squeeze. Okay, coming up right now, Greg Hissick. Uh, who else did I miss? I missed a whole bunch of you. The new BlackBerry. There is a new one. I got. That's what I have. I have the brand new one. Oh. That is the newest one. No, they just I sent it to me. No, I think they came out with a computer like one, like a um, like an iPhone. Oh, like yeah, one. no, that that one because I may upgrade to that one because that one when I got this one, which is just a few weeks ago, that one wasn't ready yet. So you should get that one. You want that one? You think? I I'll look so. better with that. Because only because like I want to see someone use it first before I want to trust. Oh, you want to? You? Oh, okay. I'm using you. So I am the guinea pig. So you I'm, are. I'm the guinea pig in this relation. In this relationship, I am the guinea pig. <laughs> Uh, Michael Butel, uh, we already said, uh, hold on, I just missed a whole bunch of you guys. It, this update's so crazy. Um, if I'm missing anybody important, Dave, uh, and you're all important, just give me a shout. Um, what's up? Hi, Chrissy, John, always a pleasure. Looking good. Stu Crew, hello. Love you, Minute Nine, for that. Uh, and, 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 all right, good. Well, now we have to go to... Oh so my cool. God, wait, that's so funny. Boom. A young Linda Hamilton, when I was on um, Boomer and Carton, Boomer Esiason's show, mm -hmm. they kept saying I looked like a young Linda Hamilton. That's a compliment. But I didn't I know who that. Linda Hamilton was, hashtag yeah. fail, because she's super famous in the Terminator movie. Yes. But I found out, and I thank with, you. Yes. Right? I, would, I would go with that. Linda Hamilton, I I used to love her in like Beauty and the Beast, and when she was in the Terminator she's movies. She's in Beauty and the Beast. She's in Beauty and the Beast. On the, the plays on the Family Channel. They play the reruns. Really? Yeah. I'm really bad at they this. Play, they play. They play. They <laughs> play the reruns. But the one thing, Linda Hamilton, she was so pretty. She got super buff and super ripped. Um, and everybody was talking about her when the Terminator movie, when she was walking the Oscars red carpet with her arms and everything. But when you get super lean and you start getting older and stuff like that, you just look old and haggard. And I think you lose that buccal fat. And I just, um, you know. Don't get too lean, ladies. When you're looking real pretty, young, don't worry about getting visible abs. Just, you know, a nice little bikini body is good enough. You want to have some body fat, okay? When you start getting too, too lean, the face goes. 
I have a little uh, donut up my belly. So <laughs> maybe a little too much. You have shape. You you have shape. <laughs> Leave it with the shape. That's a good thing. And curvy. Then, curvy. Curvy's good. <laughs> I, I said, all right, well, anyway, yes, yeah, stew crew pets. Obviously, got to go to stew crew pets because we're running out of time. And we have, a, we only put in a few stew crew pets, okay? And the stew crew pets are obviously pets of the stew crew. First, let's get the intro going, which uh, we have a whole little audio of mm -hmm. the stew crew pets. Uh oh, it's playing now. It played. <laughs> Midnight did the intro for stew crew pets. Midnight is my skipper key. Um, if you want, Chris, you could put up the uh, graphic of Midnight first, since she is the original stew crew pet. And, oh wow, we got a bunch more viewers, which is good. And Michael Durbin says that Midnight should be included in every graphic because she is the original Stu Crew pet. So Michael Durbin, who does our Photoshops and stuff like that, uh, you're going to get some love because that's Midnight with the New Media Stu Mic. There you go. And, um, and now for the Stu Crew pets of the show, little announcement. Number one, and the only Stu Crew pet to ever, ever get three pictures is the Squeezel at the Squeezel, who is a skipper key just like Midnight. Okay, and first we are looking at a picture of the Squeezel in the grass. Squeezel is 15 years old, uh, Midnight is six, but what a cute ass skipper key. But now one of my favorite pictures is the profile pic, which uh, says on his Twitter, I hate you so bad. Because <laughs> the Squeezel has nothing but attitude. And that cute little face hates you so bad. And then the Squeezel, in case you aren't familiar with the Squeezel and you're a new visitor to the house, you can read this pic, which is, beware of dog, because he's very sarcastic and hates you so bad. <laughs> I don't ever want to meet the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love dogs like that. I'm oh, scared. Let, me just, let me just show you this. I'm just taking, just one quick thing. I want to show Chrissy, because we can't see over Chris's thing, the way the studio is set up. I just want you to see the pictures of the Squeezel so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm putting it on my computer. This is, you know, our show. We get to figure it out. This is the Squeezel in the woods. It looks sort of like Midnight. See, okay. I'm calling favoritism because it reminds you of your dog and this dog well, got Oh, but that's, oh, 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 well, look, I hate you so bad. <laughs> okay, no, come so, on. Okay, come so on. the owner's creative. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then this, look at this. Beware of dog, he is very sarcastic. I'm jealous, actually. Come on. The Squeezel's freaking pimp. <laughs> I love you, Squeezel. I love you. You suck. Pimp daddy. <laughs> pimp daddy, Squeezel. I love you. You are a pimp ass dog. You're a sarcastic little hating you ass. I love you. Anyway, next dog. Next one is from Kamea six uh, three six nine one two from Israel. Uh, that is Kamea. I'm sorry, Kamea. Kamea three six nine one two from Israel. Uh, she has two cats, which is Taffy and Cece. Stew crew pets popping up. There you go. There's one of them. And then another one's coming up. And she also has a dog, which is a poodle terrier, named Nuka. Submitted three stew croupettes. And now, the, and then one, more, one more before we have the piece de resistance. One more. Because we do not discriminate by race or species. Let me get Squeezel off the, because now I can't see the screen anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Squeezel. Because we do not discriminate on race or species, uh, we have Edward Nieto's betta fish, who is a stew crew pet. And not to be corrected, but he is a king betta fish. What's the difference? Uh, the, the king betta, I think, is referring to the male, which is more brightly colored. In the betta world, as ma in many animal worlds, the male is very brightly colored, very flamboyant, very beautiful, and the female is a drab watered down version <laughs> of the man. Well, we know that ain't the case <laughs> now, right? <laughs> but that is, the an that, that is the animal world, and that's the betta fish. And now, for the piece de resistance, my lovely co-host right here. This is from Ladies Two Minute Drill, a pit bull rocking some shades named Callie. Callie, baby. She's meant to be famous. Look at that picture. Look at that picture She's on the chilling. screen. Chilling like a villain. She's chilling <laughs> like a villain. I'm telling you, I, I think I think we got to get a picture of Callie, Midnight, and the Squeezel together. Midnight and the Squeezel can bookend Callie. I, I like that idea. That would be a good idea. It would be like an Oreo because Callie's light. You can yep. have her in the middle and the two black and dogs. And the two black dogs. I'm cool with it. Double stuff. We can get another white dog in there. There I you like food. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be our sponsor right there. Double stuff. <laughs> There you go. Double stuff. I mean, it can't for your ass. <laughs> but it can, like, if I need a no, sponsor. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. With Fitness Made Simple, as the guys know who are Stu Crew members on the regular, 
Um, no food is off limits. As long as you make clean eating the rule, good eating the rule, and cheating the exception. If I wanted a double stuffed Oreo, I'll have a bite or two or, or one or something like that, but I would never say no to it. Seriously? Seriously. Where have you been all my life? Seriously. Um, if you, as soon as you put a food off limits, baby, that's when you make preoccupation with food cravings a problem and you start getting into eating disorders and stuff like that. I make good eating the rule, but I'm always going to have my chocolate. Seriously, like when I used Just to compete not in photo shoot. <laughs> when I used to compete in pageants, I'd go like two months hardcore, pageants. hardcore, no food, like Both bad food, pageants. and then it was like afterwards, I was like cheeseburger, yeah. cheese fries, ooh, artichoke pizza. Like I did that when I first started fitness modeling, and then I learned that I could I could basically have the body that I wanted. Um, and have my little cheat foods as long as I eliminated them a few days, just a couple of days prior to the event. But it also helps that you don't drink alcohol. It does. That's a big key. It is, because it's carbs. The it's problem is carbs. I cut the alcohol out and I fill it with food. <laughs> Can't she's a, win. She's a good girl though, Stu Crew. <laughs> a good girl. I'm loving this. One thing I love about us, we grow a little bit in viewers every time and then we get a lot more once it's posted. But whenever we get viewers, they never leave. They just stay the whole show. I love you, Stu Crew. That is so sincere. Um, all right, Z Girl 2. Look at Z Girl 2, Squeezel, Squeezel's uh, owner. We are loving this. <laughs> we are, uh, yeah, I would think so. I love Squeezel. I love Squeezel. Uh, midnight. Uh, yeah, midnight was shown, yes. Uh oh. All right, Blargle's saying it. Uh, it's John. Sm okay, Exotic Fire Girl says, Smell John. It's time to smell John. Uh, whatever. Raven Wolfgang says, Loving the show. She said it before. What do you think? Just kidding, he smells really good. <laughs> She'll be back for that. Now, what, they want to know what you think it smells like. And it's different this time, Stu Crew, so we'll see if she knows it. We'll see if she knows it. I did it special for you. I feel like I'm on the spot. You are on the spot. What do you, what, well, what do you think? When you walked in when I first, okay. you smelled musky. Okay, okay. Very manly, a good manly scent. Thank you. And she... She is right on the money, and I did not cheat on this one. Of course, I would never spend the money on the Jovan Musk, but I did put on Smells Like Jovan Musk for men. Okay, I feel like I won something you got it. right there. Winner. And I have to say, it's hard right now because, you know, with everything around us, you're mm -hmm. kind of not getting your just 100% scent. But when you walked in, uh, before you told me that they would ask me how you smelled, I was like, oh, wow, he smells good. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> we'll have to have her back, as I, I said tend before. I have that effect on people. You do. You do. You do. Oh, Boogawees is here. Doesn't alcohol help people lose weight, though? Oh, well, vodka is a diuretic. I mean, if you're, before, if, you're, if you're before a contest and you have to have a drink of something, and I don't recommend this at all, but the least damaging is vodka. Straight. Oh, my favorite drink, then, is absolute seltzer with a splash of cranberry, and it's only about 80 calories a drink. So yeah, that's, it's, drink that, dance a little, you know, get the bachata well, the, or something going. Well, the dance gets rid of all the calories. There you go. Dancing gets rid of all the calories. Mini, mini but then you have that midnight snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, they're getting, we have a ton of comments. Any good comments that you're seeing, Dave? Because I just saw a whole bunch of them. Hungry Chrissy, I sexy. There That's, you go. I sex, you're sexy? Hey. Yeah, hey. <laughs> and then ter, uh, upset. Well, minute nine. At minute nine, very good. It was almost obsession because, by the way, because one thing we talk about in the show, I like to live large on the cheap. And it's a new segment I'm going to be doing on New Media okay. Stew coming up. So it's like, you know, basically having a nice outfit or a nice something, but not spending all the money. Because when you came from no, when you come from no money, like I come from no money, and you have to make everything on your own, you know the value of a dollar. So I get these smells like so and so for the dollar version okay. in the little spritzy thing. So that's what they're all talking about when they say that. But like, smells like obsession. That's awesome to live by that because so many people, they just think money makes happiness and revolves around everything. Mm -hmm. And they will, oh, I need that five, like $1,500 bag. But no, you don't. You don't. Because it's going on the floor eventually. And eventually, <laughs> and eventually, bitch, you're not going to be able to pay your rent and you're going to be kicking yourself when you have to go out <laughs> hoeing because you spent the money on a $1,500 bag. Or you have those girls who sleep with a guy just for it and yep. now you're just a straight hoe. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're going to do that, get the cash. I know that's going to be saved as a gift and I know that's going to come back to haunt me. <laughs> Whatever, it's true. Um, get the cash. The bag has no resale value. The bag has no resale value. Go on Craigslist and see how much they're marked down. Um, Reality TC in the house. I love you, Reality TC. Oh, got to give you a shout out. I can only say no to the first bit. It's the second hundredth that are the problem. I missed uh, the second. I'm, hold on. I'm, uh, you're, you're in here a few times. Hey, Blargle. I missed what you said. 
Disregard my DM John browser issue with Chrome. Okay. Is by the way, is everything coming over okay? We're, we're just finishing up now. We only have two minutes, so I got to make this fast. But we forgot to ask you because I got so caught up with our lovely new co-host that is the audio coming over okay? Because Chris likes it when you give him a shout out. And is the uh, picture coming okay? Have you had to refresh a bunch of times? Let us know. Chelsea Handler doesn't ask these questions on TV. Okay. This is something you only get on New Media Stew. But Chelsea has a nice figure. What? She has a nice You have a nice figure, figure. too. Oh, she has a nice figure. <laughs> she has, and she has, a, she has a big production budget, which we got to work on. And Chewy. Although, and, and, and Chewy. I want a little midget. Well, well we, we have Dave going to be doing Stu Crew Star of the Week, and he's anything but a midget, but he's my buddy. Um, okay, there we he, go. He, he's, he's going to be coming. Well, let's just see. I missed one person. Yes, I wanted to shout out Joe Simonera. Uh, I missed what it said, but I know that uh, Timothy Schweitzer said, uh, give Joe Simonera a shout out. Joe Simonera is the director of the library. Uh, Acedia and Purification, a good buddy of mine now, and also uh, a, who, a guy who's hired me in three movies. So go check him out. New movies on Netflix. You can see his first movie, which I was at the premiere of, Purification, now on Netflix, just like all the big movies. So go check it out, Purification, and I will be also doing a little video on the premiere of the library when I'm at the Red Carpet premiere. Awesome. So there you go. But uh, everything, Eric DeWine says, everything is great today. Uh, smells like no audio problems here. Love it. Okay, and I only had to refresh once. Excellent, Marla. You, you are Mar Marla. You're my barometer in this. Did I miss anything? Oh, one quick thing. Fab Fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Put up Fab Fine graphic before um, Dave comes over. And for Fab Fine, which we have a sound effect for, which Pat did. I'll bring the sound effect in uh, next week. It's got to be heard to be believed. It's him saying it's fabulous. And when you hear Pat say it's fabulous you will never be able to say that word again. Um, but anyway, Fab Find is something I find that's sort of special, sort of amazing, sort of wonderful. This one goes to my dear, dear friends who I've been on their show for almost four years now every month, uh, which is Cavino and Rich on Sirius XM Radio. Go pick up their new CD, Tickle Sack 4 Skin. And uh, Chris is going to put on a little picture of that. You can go get that on CavinoAndRich.com. Uh, also, can you do me a favor, Dave, and just write in the chat at Covino and Rich and spell out N so that they know to go to their Twitter. Um, and go say that uh, you saw it on this show. And so you guys know, there's yes. not just one, two, three, four, five tracks. They have a total of 24 tracks. Thank you. That's 20, like two CDs in one. 24 tracks. And you know what my favorite is? My favorite is the theme song that they made about me, Stu Crew, to Brick House. And I'm not even going to sing it right now. Are you sure? Because I think I want to hear you sing it. You want to hear me? I do. You, you, uh, just go, one, a couple just, lines Just, just one bar. bar. Uh, just one bar? Okay. Not all right. bar, okay. He, no, ready? He's John Bass. Dow. Fitness made simple. Working your ass out. He's John Bass. Dow. Break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down now. I fist pumped for you. Josie Shore in the house. <laughs> Love it. Dave, get out here before we get shut off. Stu Crew Star wanna, of the Week. Shout out Biggie D-Line. Oh, Biggie D-Line? What, what is it? We have uh, our, a picture of him. Oh, thank you. Wait, one second, Dave. Put up Biggie D-Line. He forgot to get a proper thing. Biggie D-Line was a... Thank you, Chris, voice of God. Uh, oh, there's so many things that I forget, but I appreciate it. Um, it's because the Squeezel took all our time today. <laughs> Damn you, Squeezel. I love you. All right, Biggie D-Line won Stu Crew Star of the Week. Uh, not last week's show, the previous week's show. We, I only got to show him on the computer, but now I got his full graphic up, Facebook page. Look at him, 165-pound weight loss, rocking the Team Based Out shirt. The Team Based Out shirt on Biggie D-Line in a medium. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Holla! <laughs> Holla. <laughs> Fitness Made Simple Holla has a little Tourette's going on like this. Holla. My boy. <laughs> my boy. My boy. There you go. You gotta love it. Tickle said Eric D line saying. By, by the way, Biggie D line tweet to Gavino and Rich that I gave him a shout out so that they know that I was a good dude, bro, and I had their freaking backs like I promised. Get in here, Dave. We're gonna be cut off in a second. The Stu Crew Star of the Week is the person that has done the most. Get in between. You can get right in between us like, and kneel down. Okay. Look, Hi, I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking, there you go. Oh, look at this. That looks just perfect. We're like a family. It's a family. <laughs> Very weird family. It's like, <laughs> it's like the Christmas card from hell. It's, it's the Christmas card that you get and you go, who's stalking behind them? <laughs> but who's stalking now? Anyway, so Dave actually chose, so you can shoot him if you don't like it, um, the Stu Crew Star of the Week. It's the person who participated the most in the show, shouted out the show the most, helped us 
become relevant in other people's eyes. You have our backs, we have yours, and you will win. If it's a guy, you'll win this awesome Get Chunk shirt and be able to wear that. And for your lady, be able to give her this pink hat or wear it yourself. I don't really care. Um, and if it's a lady, you'll be able to wear this pink hat and give this Get Chunk shirt for a guy. There you go. Who is the Stu Crew Star of the Week? Blargle the Alien. Oh, Stu Crew saying. Slow Clap. Blargle the Alien. Ooh, Blargo. Is that the end? Get Chunk, <laughs> that is it. That, that's enough of Stu Crew Slow Clap. Blargo. That's so much fun. There um, you go. Excuse me, though. You need to cut the sleeves off when you get your shirt. If we don't, if we, if we don't get one from, if, if we don't get one from the uh, company, we will uh, send you the cut off sleeve one because I, I had to wear this for a shoot with fresh. the shirt, but it's fresh, <laughs> and you also get a nice hat which has never been worn and has some sort of sticker no, on the I bottom. No, I actually put it on. Oh, today. you were. I gave you like a little. That <laughs> that raises the price. <laughs> that raises the value. eBay item right here. Extra special. You get a little lice with it. <laughs> Just Stu, Stu Crew prizes <laughs> are so nice, they come with a little lice. There you go. Anyway, guys, JK. thank you. <laughs> Say hello to Dave. Make sure to follow him. What's your Twitter, Dave? At Dave's Just Bored. At Dave's Just Bored. Good buddy. He's going to be helping out with the show a bunch. Love having him here. One of my first friends on the YouTube. Go back to your little podium now, oh. Dave. Dave is our Chewy. <laughs> Uh, right. You're a good Chewy. He's a good Chewy. I like it. <laughs> and let's say, we're going to just say goodbye to everyone because we're going to get cut off in a second. But Eric D-Line, Mind of Science, you can say, see, now they go fast oh, because boy. they're trying to say goodbye. So just grab anybody's name you can. Get, what? The epic, uh, oh, I want the hat. The gay guys are screaming, I want I the hat. The, <laughs> the, 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 the thief pick man, by the way, you just got chunked because you're new. Chunked. Okay, and then we have DeLorean Fan 81. <laughs> Uh, minute nine, fitness made simple there, surface you ha ha ha. Bugawis, uh, and one more, one more shout out goes to I Night Air. Is good doing good. Love you guys. See you next Monday. And until next time, she knows this now. Much love. Much love. And respect. And respect. Ooh. <laughs> Twitterverse, tweets abound. Facebook's a land where friends are found. YouTube comments, may they never cease. MySpace is dead, so let it rest in peace. The best of the week, here's where they be. Chosen by yours truly, the name's JB. Shoutouts, props, questions for you. All wind up in the new media stew.